a golf ball is hit in a horizontal direction of the top edge of a building that's 100 feet tall like this horizontal means the angle of elevation theta is just zero degrees how fast must the ball be launched to land 600 feet away so we need to find the initial speed okay look at here initial velocity is always given by this vector v naught that's the initial velocity component cosine theta v naught sine theta which in this case cosine zero degree is one so just v naught comma sine zero is zero so zero so we need uh, eventually we need to find how fast means the magnitude of this vector since the second component is zero the magnitude of this vector is, will be just v naught okay for this type of motion in space uh, we always know one thing that is acceleration due to gravity so at is is just uh, in this case fit english system so 32 32 but this is acting downward and no horizontal horizontal means x component up down means y so it's so down so negative j j component which is same as we can write in this way there is no i component so zero comma negative 32 okay zero i so uh, we have this acceleration so we work from here integrate both sides with respect to time okay integrate both sides with respect to time we get vt velocity at any time t is now uh, integral of zero I mean, there is nothing so we can just write zero and anti-derivative of negative 32 is negative 32 t plus some constant of integration let's say c1 uh, now we find the value of c1 using initial velocity which is v not zero okay using uh, v at zero initial velocity which is just v not zero and we don't know what is this okay just v not is just v not using this that means we are plugging in t equals zero here plug t equals zero we get v zero which is v not zero equals zero comma plug in t so this becomes zero plus c1 so this implies subtract 0 0 from both sides so basically we are not doing anything just v0 so c1 is just v0 uh, substitute back here okay back substitute here then we get vt so this plus c1 c1 happens to be v0 when we add v not zero, so v not zero just v not this one zero is just negative thirty two t. So we have velocity vector at any time t. Next, if we integrate both sides, we get the position. Okay. Then uh, on integration, when we integrate, we get position est is let's find the antiderivative. Uh, v naught is a constant. V naught is constant, so like five, so five t v naught t, comma. Anti-derivative of this is negative sixteen t square, plus some constant of integration. C two. Now to find C two, we want to use the initial position. Okay, it's not given here, but we can find the initial position. What is that? Initially at this position, so yes, at zero. Okay, this is just height, that's the y, but there is no x part. So this is 0 and up 150. So 0, 150 is the vector. So using this initial vector, position vector, yes, at 0 equals 0, 150, we get we are basically plugging in t equals 0 here so we get s0 which is 0 150 equals uh, this is plugging in 0 we get 0 plugging 0 we get 0 plus c2 
that means subtract zero zero that means we don't have to subtract anything we just get c2 okay this is vector c2 by the way equals 0 150 back substitute this c2 here then we get position thus position at any time t is given by this vector plus c2 which happens to be 0 150 so 0 150 0 v naught t is v naught t comma this plus 150 negative 16 t squared plus 150 okay now we know that the ball hits 600 feet away that means this is y direction okay sorry x direction so this position means this is x component this is y component and we know the x component that is 600 okay but we don't know v naught that's what we are trying to find we also know that when it hits the ground then this y component will be zero okay on, on ground when the golf ball hits the ground on ground means this height function this y component is zero so negative 16 t squared plus 150 equals zero from this we can find the time taken by the golf ball to hit the ground. So solve for t. This implies move 150 over, divide by 16, and t square. Take square root. So t equals square root of 150 over 16. And using calculator, it comes out to be 3.06186. Okay. So after these many seconds the golf ball hits the ground now we need to find the initial speed how fast speed for we find v naught t okay so for initial speed so we find uh, for let's find initial velocity first and we take its magnitude magnitude to find the initial speed initial velocity if we go up we have v0 which is just uh, v naught t v naught 0 okay but we don't know v naught okay that's why we are we are doing all these steps and if you look at initial position here yes t that this is the position okay at any time t of the golf ball and we know that the golf ball hits the ground after 3.06186 seconds if we use this t here we get this horizontal span which is 600 feet okay from here we can find the value of v naught so let's do that on side so we have v naught t okay v naught t equals 600 that's the horizontal that was the vertical zero that's 600 and we found t so divide by 3.06 you get v naught 600 divided by 3.06 and that comes out to be 195.96 so this is 195.96 com comma zero initial velocity now to find initial speed we need to take its magnitude but the second component is zero so uh, the required how fast means initial speed thus the speed initial speed is just 195.96 feet per second final 